Two men and a woman passed out outside a Council Bluffs gas station, all suspected of overdosing on fentanyl. I was told by people that it was a powder. It was like a white powder and uh, that we were we snorted just a little bit of it and then eventually that all just started happening. Chris May says he doesn't remember anything. This video from August 1st, captured by people who tried to help as all three were in critical condition. The 26-year-old says medics shocked him and used Narcan to reverse the effects of the opioid overdose. Still, he had lung and kidney failure, blood clots, memory loss, and spent more than a week in the hospital. The doctors basically said it's just like a miracle that I'm still here, but I am still here and that I need to, you know, just do something positive with my life now, which I'm trying to do that, you know. May says he didn't know enough about fentanyl and has been sober since, using his second chance to share a life-saving warning. Hopefully this helps people, hopefully they listen because before it's too late. Nearly two months later, this young father and hopeful son is making progress. Instead of drugs to deal with anxiety, he's working out and going to therapy. Therapy is really good, you know, we talk about, you know, ways to you know, stay positive and on the right track. He volunteered for intensive outpatient treatment at Transitional Services of Iowa. Marina Theory, a mental health and substance use therapist there, works with dozens of cases like Mays. It is becoming so deadly and so dangerous so quickly. Theory says synthetic opioids are now cheaper and easier to buy. As a community coming together to break the stigma, one, and then giving the proper support to these families, that are struggling. For May, motivation comes from his baby girl, Adeline, and family. So how long are the therapy sessions usually? Usually like an hour. His aunt giving this rosary as a reminder of miracle moments. When I walked in that hospital room, I knew he was gonna be okay because something told me inside. And to me, that was God. Faith and family giving May a fresh Outlook. I just basically restarted my life, and that's the way that I look at it, you know. In Council Bluffs, Chin Yon, KETV News Watch 7.